Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crybaby Lily, and today we will be doing a room tour video. Yay! I'm super super excited to finally make this video. It has been on my list for like ever. So I'm just, I'm so happy. I cleaned my room, I got everything all nice and organized, and yeah, we're ready to make a room tour video. So yeah, I'm super super excited. I hope you enjoy it. And also for this part, I'm using my front camera. And I don't know where I'm supposed to look, so if I look weird, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm just gonna look at me and not at the camera, like, at the top, because I don't know how it's gonna look. So, yeah. I'm gonna look at me. But anyway, if you're interested in seeing what my full room looks like and interested in the room tour, then definitely keep watching. So, yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, so when you first walk into my room, this is what you see. And I'm gonna close the door behind me so there's no noise. But basically, the first thing is um my vanity and my giant him razor blade romance poster above it, of course, because you know your girl loves him. I'm actually wearing the shirt right now. But anyway, when you go closer on this wall, I have a Mac bag and also a Mac and Hello Kitty collab bag from way back in the day. Then I have my Hello Kitty impressions chair. Then I have my Hello Kitty Impressions mirror. And then I also have like my makeup brushes, the makeup that I use every day, my little Tokidoki bag from Sephora. And that was one of the first things I ever got from there when I was younger. Um, I also have some skincare stuff over there on the right. And then I have the Touch My Makeup and Dye makeup bag. And then a Tokidoki brush and a MAC um, bag that's shaped like lips, which is really cool. And then up here, as I said, you know, we have the Ham Razor Blade Romance poster, and that is my favorite poster of all time, and that I have. And I love it. I just, I love it. That's my favorite Him album, and one of my favorite albums of all time. It probably is my favorite album of all time, just saying. But anyway, moving on to over here, I have this um, painting. And I think it's really cool. It gives me, like, Pink Floyd vibes and stuff. So, you know, I love it. And, yeah. Over here is my closet. And as you can see, I'm going to back up a little bit. I have a poster of Axl Rose on it from Guns N' Roses. And then I also have some skull things that I got when it was, like, Halloween. I just put them on there. And then... I drew like the Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon logo and then the Kiss logo. I was supposed to paint my whole like um, closet with band logos, but I never finished it. And then you can faintly see the Nirvana smiley face. And yeah, I also have like a heart and a Bratz like door um, thing on the handle. And then at the bottom on the right, I have Edward Scissorhands and a Toronto Blue Jays sticker. So yeah. Since we're here, we're also going to do Near the Door. So I have an Invench 7-fold bandana. I think I got this at the concert. I'm not really sure. It's either from there or from Spencer's. But I'm pretty sure the white one's from Spencer's. But anyway, I have a little Domo keychain hanging off the wall. Because if you know, you know. Domo. Then I have a poster of Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears. And I was really surprised that they put these two together. Because if you know the history, then you know. And then I also have posters of Fall Out Boy and Avril Lavigne, which is really cool. And I've had these for, like, years. And then on my actual door itself, I have what you call a Slipknot door sock. So basically what this is, is, like, it's a piece of, like, cloth that goes on all four corners of the door. And, you know, it acts like as a giant poster. And I've had this since I was in high school. I bought it from Spencer's. But you can pretty much buy it from um, Rockabilia, I think it is, because I saw it on there. But yeah, that's one of my favorite things in my room. And then I have this mirror. Hello, that's me. <laughs> and I love it. It's a full body mirror, which is great, you know, for outfits and stuff and, you know, for taking pictures and all that. And then up here I have um, some backpacks. So I have Ghostface, uh, Jason Voorhees, My Chemical Romance, Tiffany, and The Corpse Bride. And then I have a Monster High bag, and then a Guns N' Roses bandana. 
on the wall and then over here I have a pot leaf thing a star a sign that says f off thanks I'm sorry I forgot about that a misfits tag a poster of Jimi Hendrix my xbox and then I'm gonna move closer so I have this candle holder of Jack Skellington that was given to me so I went to Spirit Halloween and I bought these long black candles and then I have some lush um body sprays there and then I have my TV, of course, and then I have a him love metal calendar from 2005 because, you know, like I said, your girl loves him and I have their merch all over my room. And then this is my perfume tray and I love it. It's one of my favorite things in my room. I have a mix of all kinds of different perfumes and yeah, there's like Juicy Couture, there's Rihanna, there's Ed Hardy, Pink Sugar, um... Victoria's Secret Pink, the warm and cozy one, and then some Bath and Body Work stuff, which is really cool. And then I found, like, that Gwen Stefani little perfume topper that's, like, hanging out, which is really cute. And then when we move to over here, I gotta move back a little bit. Um, I have a picture of Marilyn Monroe, and then I have a picture of Little Peep, um, because I'm a huge fan of his. And I was actually supposed to see him a month before he passed away, but I never got the chance to go because I was dealing with a lot of things, so I miss him, and I even have a crybaby bird um, tattoo mem in memory of him, so yeah. And then next to it, I have a signed My Chemical Romance Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge booklet, and a signed I'm Not Okay, I Promise single vinyl, so I'm going to show you that up close, because like that's really cool. And my aunt gave this to me, so it has her name on it. So there's a postcard up there that says, My Chemical Romance, Give Him Hell Kid. And then it says, Marina, sorry, I'm not Gerard. And that's Ray Toro's signature, Mikey Way's signature. Then it says, Berard, because if you know, back in the day, there was Burt McCracken and Gerard Way. They were like besties and stuff. And then I can't tell whose signature it is. I think it's Frank's, but I'm not sure. And then here it says, again, Marina, rock on. And then it has all the band members who signed it and stuff. Which is really cool. I love it. This used to scare me as a child, so it's funny that now I have it facing my bed and I have it in my room, but I love it. I love MCR. I have a three cheers tattoo on me. I love it. And then over here, I have my skeleton Hello Kitty. She dances, which is really cute. And then I have my him um, light up box. And I have Pandora from the Bleeding Edge Goth Dolls next to it. And then the Corpse Bride. And a pair of him handcuffs from Villa Vallo's dad's store. Which is really cool. It's one of my favorite things. And I love that like I have it on the him sign. And actually I'm going to plug it in because I just realized I forgot to plug it in. So I'm going to show you what it looks like lit up. Okay, so I plugged it in and that's what it looks like all lit up. It looks really cool in the dark and stuff. And I love it. That was one of the first him related merch items I ever bought, and it's honestly my fave. I love it. I love that it's a part of my collection. So, when we move over here, I have a poster of Metallica, and it says Alcoholica. I just thought that was really funny. And then over here, um, I also mentioned before I have that Monster High bag, I think. And then I also have Helena from the Helena music video. So let me show you her up close and then I'll go back. But that's what she looks like. She's so cute. I put it above the Three Cheers um, signed booklet and the vinyl record thing. Anyway, <laughs> um, so here's a Guns N' Roses bandana. I put it on my wall. I got that from the concert. I think that was the first time that I saw them. And then I have a picture of them. I also got that at the concert. And then I put some like Hello Kitty Sanrio stuff hanging off of it. And then I also have some bats going down my wall. And I got those like with the Halloween thing. And it came with those skulls. And then I also have um, the skull animals hanging off of the Guns N' Roses picture. And then I have Jack Skellington sitting in the middle with Hello Kitty and then a spooky little ghost. And my Hello Kitty radio. And yeah, and then I have just a Ikea Alex drawer and then my hamper where I keep like all my dirty clothes and stuff and it's Bratz and I love it. So this way I'm going to have to move back, but this is basically where I keep all of my cool clothes and I keep some in my closet too, but this is where like all the cool stuff goes basically. So over here I have like the nicer shirts. 
I have like tank tops, I have like my crop shirts and my some of my graphic tees, like graphic cropped tops. And then down here, hiding, I have more t-shirts, graphic tees, some long sleeve stuff and some sweaters. And then here's my battle jacket. It's not finished yet, but I have to sew some more patches on it and do the sleeves. And then at the top there, I have some random pants. And then in the middle here, I have a Bratz Pretty and Punk purse that I got for my birthday. And then I have like a zebra print storage container thing that has hangers and stuff in it. So yeah. And then in the middle here, I basically just have like skirts and jeans and pants and stuff. And then there's like a pair of moon boots over there. And then my furry moon boots are in the box. And then I have a pair of demonias. My other demonias are in my closet. But yeah, I'll open the closet after. And then I have some more jeans and stuff up here on this side. And then all of these shirts, they're all like band shirts. They're all band shirts. These are all of my favorite band shirts all right here. And yeah, you can see this says Sabbath Bloody Sabbath because it's a Black Sabbath um, long sleeve that I got from the concert. And yeah, and then down here... I have all of my band and music related sweaters and sweatshirts. So you can see I have the 69 eyes, I have some hymn stuff, I have the weekend, my chemical romance, and yeah. And then below there I have some Juicy Couture stuff, some Victoria's Secret Pink stuff, and like some Playboy stuff and some other stuff that's mixed. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's like down there. And like I think I have um, a pair of Ed Hardy velour pants in there too, and yeah. So, next is, like, all of my jewelry, and I keep mainly, like, the important stuff here. So, I have some belt buckles here. There's him, there's Dickies, there's Vengeance University. That's Zaki Vengeance's um, clothing line. And I love how I have the same belt that he does. It was definitely a score in high school when I got it. And, yeah, so I have the studded belt kind of bracelet there. And then here's all my jewelry which I love. So I have like all of my more icy stuff and my cool stuff is here. So you can see my Barbie chain, my Playboy chain. I have a, the Superman chain here. I bought this when I was like emo. I don't know why it's facing the wrong way. Um, some more brass knuckles and then my Chemical Romance Hello Kitty and then a VV Cardigram necklace. I don't know why this is backwards. I must have bumped into it. And then my rosaries and stuff, which is cool. And then over here, I'm going to do my bookshelves. So up here, I have my Hard Rock Cafe Barbie. I have a Bratz Pretty and Punk Chloe. And then behind her, I have a Gem in the Holograms gem doll. And then over here, I have my Living Dead Dolls lunchbox. And then Victor and Emily from the Corpse Bride Funko Pops. And then my Guns N' Roses water pipe vase ongo bongo. You understand what I mean? Thing. You can see what it is, but you know. And then the first shelf up here, I have some of my Living Dead dolls, and I have some books behind them. Like, all poetry books and, like, some notebooks. So, we have Sin, Mildred, Sadie, Lust, aka Mistress Demonica, Zizbeth or Exbeth or Exizbeth, I don't know how to say her name, and then Elisa and Elisa's Variant. And then on the next shelf, I have all of my horror movies and some of my TV shows and stuff that are on DVD. So we have Chucky and Tiffany, we have Jack the Ripper, and we have Sabbath of Blood. And I figured I'd put them here because it goes with the horror stuff. And then I also have my Playboy belt buckles that my bestie gave me. Shout out to Miss House of Dolls. Go check out her channel because she's cool. And yeah, so if I go here, you can see they're all some, most of them are horror movies, but then I also have some random stuff there too. And then here I have like a lot of TV show stuff like CKY, I have Hagger, Jackass, Simple Life, Viva La Bam, I love Viva La Bam, and I love him, <laughs> of course. And then on this shelf, I have all of my CDs are behind these dolls, so you can see some of them poking out and stuff, but I was supposed to have another shelf that was supposed to be made specifically for my dolls, but then things happen, so I'm going to have to ask another person to see if they can do it for me, but... Here we have Edgar Allan Poe and Annabelle Lee. We have the Fashion Victims Hollywood. We have the Series 35 20th Anniversary Sin. We have Resurrection Sheena. And we have Nosferatu and The Victim. And I love it. And then down here, starting with the ones at the front, we have Tenebre or Tenebre. Then we have Sospirar or Sospirare. Then we have Lamenta or Lamenta. 
Then we have The Dark, we have Jezebel, then at the back we have Larmis de Sang, we have Sunday, we have School Time Sadie, we have Miss Eerie, we have Vanity aka Madame Dysmorphic, and then we have Siren. And then for the next shelf, I have a bunch of magazines and stuff that I've collected over the years. So they're all stacked here. And then I have some random Bratz dolls. Um, like I said, there was supposed to be another shelf made for them. So I kind of just stuck them here for now. But as you can see, I have like a lot of the Pretty and Punk dolls. The Midnight Dance, Megan. Um, Oriana and Valentina are back there. But those are my custom ones. The Tweevils. Um, Forever Diamonds, Chloe. Flashback Fever, Fiona. Um, Funk and Glow Megan, Dana, another Megan, and yeah, there's just a bunch of them hiding behind there, but I really have to put them somewhere better. And yeah, girls really rock Chloe's at the front too. But anyway, and then at the bottom shelf, I have some shoes. So I have these pink and black DC shoes, as you can see, these are like my first official, like, basically 2000s DCs. Like, I have DCs, but like, they're not like this, so I've always wanted a pair like this. And then here I have my Audio Hardogram skate shoes, which are my fave. And I hate that they don't make these anymore. Like, it sucks, but I love them. So these are, I think, the Audio BAM version 3. And they have purple and black hardograms on them, which is really cute. These are a kid's 3. And then these ones are also, like, the hardogram ones. Um, and they have, like, the purple hardogram on them. And they have it also, I think, at the back, too. But yeah, I wish they still made these. And then I put the boxes there for this one. And then I put the box there for the DCs. So yeah, these are like my favorite shoes and stuff. And then we have this corner here, which has a Hilary Duff poster, a Dripping Rose art thing I made when I was in high school. My Him Purse, which is my fave. I always bring that with me to concerts. And then we have some lanyards here. So there's Avenged Sevenfold, Vengeance University, Simple Plan, Eminem, Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance, Him, the Pink Floyd Exhibition VIP one that I got when I went to the exhibit, and then a Guns N' Roses Night Train fan club one that I got. And then here in this corner, um, I have like a three-tier card, and this is where that shelf for the dolls was supposed to go. So I'm hoping that I can get someone else to make it. But yeah, so I have my Him records there and I also have some weekend ones hiding behind there and then I have two him magazines and then I have a little Villavallo um doll that was given to me for my birthday which I love he's so cute and I love it and then I have this like Barbie fashion fever chair that I've just put there and I put the guitar on a monster high pillow because I figured it would go nice with him and then I have these Dripping Roses. They're technically candle holders, and I got them from Bath & Body Works when it was, um, like, Halloween time. So I just use them for display. And then I have a bat coffin. And when you open the coffin, it basically has a him ticket stub from, like, the Dark Light days, and then a bunch of him pins. So, yeah, that's cool. And then on the second shelf, I have... A scrapbook kind of thing of Villavallo. There's nothing in there, but I think I want to put like all my tags and all like the him related stuff in there. And then I have Draculaura's coffin next to him at the back. It's like a bed. And then I have Benji Madden from Good Charlotte in front of that bed. And then Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. A ghost face shot glass. Posey schizo. And I think that's Menard or the or it's another Living Dead doll little figure. And then I have a little him um, Killing Loneliness box. And then there's Hello Kitty and um, is it my Melody? I can't remember. I think that's her. And then I also have Victor and Emily from The Corpse Bride. And unfortunately, she's missing her hand. I lost it. I think my cat knocked her over when she was in my basement and it's missing. But it's okay because it goes with her. And then I have my crystals, and I have a Hello Kitty little dish that my mom got me for Christmas. And yeah. So then here on the last shelf, I have some more horror-related stuff at the back. So I have Reagan from The Exorcist. I have a giant bat plush that's from Canada's Wonderland when they had Halloween Haunt. I have Billy the Puppet from Saw. 
And then I have like a ghost face um, light up thing. And it's really cool. It lights up. But it's just here for now. Like a lot of the stuff had to be moved. But you know, things happened. And then I have the goth kits from South Park. And these are my plushies of them. And then I have these ouch bubblegum band-aids. I don't know if you guys remember those. But back in the day, they were like really good. And they were chewing gum. And I used to eat them like candy. So, you know, they're brand new. And I just think it's really cool. So I think I just left them there. But oh well. <laughs> the goth kids can have them. And then I just realized I have a shorty Killer Clowns from Outer Space little knit figure. He's hiding behind there. And then here I have these Hardogram like cutouts that were on my birthday cake. I put it on my wall. And then I have another Ham Razorblade Romance little tin sign. And then I have the Vows from the Corpse Bride and Victor and Emily on a sign that's from Spirit Halloween. Then I have a Ham Air Freshener and a him tag from my other bag. And then I have a cat, a little evil eye thing, and my Aussie plush. And then I have a Hello Kitty plush. I have my lamp. I have my alarm clock, my slime cup, my remote for my TV and my lights. And then I have my retainer some lip glosses, my sleepy dust and my fairy dust, um, my Hello Kitty planner, more lip stuff, and then some lotion and my medication. Also, I almost forgot to mention, I have a mini fridge and that I use as my night table. So I have a bunch of like magnets and like stickers on it. So as you can see, I have SpongeBob, Bart Simpson, We Will Rock You, um, Hilary Duff, There's a Perfect Circle Fan Pass thing. Um, the card that came with my Bleeding Edge Pandora doll, Mary-Kate and Ashley, the Joker, and some other cool stuff. And yeah, and then over here, I have, like, some drawers and stuff that I keep for, like, storage. And there's, like, all random stuff in there. But, yeah. But anyway, and then above my bed, here, before I forget about this, I have a Weekend Trilogy poster. And I love The Weekend too. He's great. Then here is my posters above my bed. So there's Ghost, Iron Maiden, Simple Plan, Slipknot, Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance, Him, Slash, um, more My Chemical Romance, Pierce the Veil, Pete Wentz, Panic at the Disco, more MCR, Metallica, Avril Lavigne, Lindsay Lohan, another Metallica, and Britney Spears. And then my, like, cross, because, you know, I don't know, it's a thing that people do that they put crosses above the bed, but anyway... This is my bed itself. So, basically, um, I have pink sheets on it right now, and I have some, like, leopard print um, pillowcases and some black ones, which is cool. And then I have my little Kissland Oxy pillow, and I have my Playboy pillow. And I have a Nightmare Before Christmas blanket, and then on top I have a Him Poison Girl blanket. So I'm going to show that to you, like this so here's the wall first and then here's the bed and as you can see there's a little Aussie bat plush sticking out and then here's the bed and then there it is it says just me and my poison girl it's got the heartogram and then it says him and yeah I think it's really cute and I love it so yeah I'll see if I can like give you like a little spin and there's a Christina Aguilera poster randomly there so anyway here's a spin again and if you hear noise or water, I'm sorry, the bathroom is, like, right next to my room. So, yeah, that's basically everything, I would think. I forgot to mention, this is my dresser, so that's here. And then for my closet, because you're probably curious to see what it looks like in there. Um, I have all kinds of random stuff in here. So, basically, this is, like, all the stuff I use when I take a bath and some random stuff. And my studded belts that I like to wear on an umbrella. Then I have some shoes up there, I have my bags, I have more shoes, my swimwear, and like a little Pikachu bag hiding in there that I got when I was like 14. And then I have some jackets and some sweaters at the back there. And then these are some of my other clothes that I don't really wear, they're just here, you know, because I don't have room on the other thing. And then I have some shoes on my shoe rack, I love those like sparkly ones, they're my fave. I have some hair extensions that are really old. Um, just chilling in there my other ones are in there too and then i have my demonias more doc martens and some other cool boots and stuff in there so yeah there's just like all kinds of like stuff in here it's random 
but yeah okay so ignore my door it was painted white so that's why it's kind of like chippy i have to repaint it but behind my mirror i have this him funeral of hearts um light switch cover and i got it from ebay and it's one of my faves super super cute i love it also this is my laptop i almost forgot to put it in the video but i just wanted to show you because i keep it in my room and stuff anyway here it is it's super cute and we have hymns deep shadows and brilliant highlights the heartogram deftones around the fur pink floyd dark side of the moon typo negative sabbath and hymns razor blade romance and yeah that's my laptop slash macbook pro Thank you so much for watching my little room tour video. I really hope you liked it and you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more and let me know what you think. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love you all. I thank you all. Bye!